Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the second space which will allow you to create an additional space on the device that is completely independent from the one that you're seeing right now. So as an example I'm just going to change the wallpaper so it's a little bit different than the newer space that we're going to create. So let's just change it to something maybe nice, cool. Looks good enough, let's set it to both. And now we have a different wallpaper. Just close this and now to enable the second space let's go into the settings and then it's just called second space so let's find that. There it is. Tap on it and keep in mind but before we actually start doing this uh, you will need to have a passcode set up on both of them. That's basically how the phone will know which space you're trying to access. So now I have a passcode, as you can see, of this sort. So up and right, and uh, also a fingerprint, which is my right thumb. And now let's turn on second space, and we'll have to create additional passcode, which is different than the one that we have right now. And we can also add a fingerprint to it as well. So let's just tap on continue. Continue, set now, and that is the second space. Confirm, or actually, no, that is uh, confirm first space. So we have to now put the one that we already have, the passcode, which is for the current one, to confirm. Basically, I'll authorize this, and now we're gonna draw an unlock pattern for second space. So this is the second space. So I'm gonna do it basically a mirrored reflection of what I have been doing now. So you draw it once and then redraw it again and then tap on confirm and what is this uh, fingerprint now you can add one or not i'm just going to choose not to at the moment just to shorten it but basically it's the same same process as you would add a fingerprint to the first space normally and as you can see we're now in the second space which is indicated by the wallpaper being changed to something just completely bland and also any kind of photos basically the gallery will be fully empty because all the photos that you might have taken um, are on the first space they're completely separate from each other it's basically like having a different phone so just tap on okay and just to prove this i'm gonna jam my fa fingers and there considering i might have a photo with basically the background um, so it's clearer to distinguish so now if we go into the gallery, you can see that there is the photo that we literally just taken. And if I go back to the first space, like so, which you will see that by the wallpaper, this is the first space. And if I go into the gallery, take me to photos. There is no photos whatsoever here, apart from like a couple of screenshots. So like I said, there is a similar photo. That's why I put a, a hand in the background so you can distinguish it between so basically all the photos that are here are none that are on the other space and I will actually quickly go back to it. So let's go here and you can see that this is the only photo here. There is nothing else and albums as well. And that basically works for everything else. So music, uh, videos, photos, um, web browsing, uh, files, any kind of thing that you do on this, on this side on the second space will stay just on this space and the other one will also be on the other space. Okay, so let's go back to the first space and continue on with the other three centrics. And so this got kind of lengthy. Um, so the second one will be um, animation speed, which will allow you to just change the animation speed of uh, the system itself. So if you tap on recent and uh, you open up, let's say, open up some kind of app like settings. Now I think I already have it disabled, that's why it's immediate and snaps. Um, so let's see, developer options, do I have it enabled? Hmm. Let's see. It's additional settings and yeah, they're enabled. So I think I already set it to I think zero. Let's just check to be sure. 
yeah so on it so I already have it off so let me first enable to what it is by default which would be one and now you will see that basically everything has animations of like zooming in and out and just overly kind of a smooth animation but for some people this might be a little bit slow so you can shorten it or completely turn off like I had previously and to get started with this you might not see developer options as I did and to enable them all you need to do is just go into about phone and I think it's MI UI version that you need to tap on seven times yep so no need you are now a developer so if you don't have it enabled you will tap on this seven times if you have some kind of passcode it might need to you might need to confirm it before it allows you to enable it and from there all you need to do is just go back scroll and on the main page of settings down to additional settings and then you should find developer options right here and from the developer options just scroll a little bit past halfway and more I think there it is um, and from here you have the three options so window animation scale transition animation scale and animation duration scale and each one of them corresponds to a different kind of animation so the first one window animation scale is the window that has just popped up and I will set it up to times 10 so you can see a drastic difference of how it affects it now let's choose it to be off and now it has no animation just pops in and out of view and same goes for all the other ones so I'm just gonna set it to maybe half speed so you can get a nice sense of how it looks like with just way faster animation while it's still there you can see that it's way faster and feels just a bit more snappy so that was another thing now moving on we're gonna go into the gestures which considering this phone has a fairly nice screen I would say that gesture animations for this is just a no-brainer I am personally really fond of gesture animations I don't really like the buttons on the back on the bottom and there is a, actually a way to basically completely remove them and have just a better feeling of gesture navigation so to do it we're gonna go into full screen display setting so it's in the settings and it's called full screen display there it is and you have the buttons and full screen gestures so all you need to do is tap on it and I believe it will give you a yeah learn so you can tap on this and it gives you a guide on how to use this so let's go learn and the first one is swipe up to close so boom close now the second one is recent so it slide up and hold your finger there like so and it opens up recent and then swipe from either side to go back so as you can see it works from both sides and that's basically it you're done so just a quick little guide on how to use it can I close this there we go so as you can see that's basically how it works and not in a guided state um, and as you also see the back buttons are deactivated basically if you're on the home screen so you have nowhere else to go but if I would be in the settings I can actually slide and go back yeah that is fairly nice and it also removes the buttons on the bottom basically increasing the screen real estate so uh, moving on we're gonna go into the double tap to wake and the setting is under the display so let's go into the settings again and then scroll down to display right here and double tap screen to wake and you want to just tap on it to enable it and now when the phone is locked you can just double tap it and it will wake up the screen so you can see the time see notifications if you have any and also unlock it from here it doesn't but you can basically unlock it also when it's uh, the screen is off so it doesn't really matter for this particular case uh, you also have a couple other options so raise to wake so all oh, self-explanatory the phone is laying down you will raise it and it just wakes up kind of like iPhones have it now and auto rotate screen um, I think rotation of the screen can also be enabled from here somewhere wherever that is yeah screen lock so if you uh, basically now the screen will rotate so this option is not very needed but yeah uh, I would say that's uh, tap to wake is a one of the more useful one if you're just having the phone somewhere on the side and you don't want to really interact it but you want to check the time or you see if you got any notifications so let's just unlock it and continue and the last thing that I want to show uh, which I left it as a last considering it's um, it, uh, I wouldn't say it looks good on the video and it just might make the phone look a little bit darker and uh, I, I believe that white might be just better option at the 
recording stage but for normal use I would prefer to have basically the dark mode and talking about the dark mode basically you can enable it so everything that you see right now is white which is in the normal light mode um, and once you enable the dark mode it will basically change to black and be all just dark theme a little bit more pleasant also to use at night if you're using your phone constantly when the sun is down so to enable it we're again gonna go on to the display so settings display and we should find dark mode right here so check it on and you can immediately see the difference it all changes to black if i pull this down it's also black um, now you can see only on the home screen that basically the search bar is black but if i remember correctly dialers and everything on here is now in a dark theme i guess apparently not oh, i guess not the contacts but you can see most the, most of the other things are already so it looks like basically all the native apps that are on uh, uh, native to Xiaomi. So basically their browser, their gallery uh, settings, everything that they made is is already dark theme. But things like uh, messages, which belongs to Google and I'm guessing Chrome as well. Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, Chrome is also light. So anything that is basically Google based will be light, while everything that is uh, Xiaomi based will be in the dark theme. Um, and yeah, that is basically how you would enable this. So if you found any of these tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.